first modern house built in West Hollywood. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Garcia, your host for WeHopeDiaTV.com, your online video guide to being gay in LA and the West Hollywood lifestyle. On this edition of WeHopeDia, I'll be discussing the Schindler House. The Schindler House, also called King's Road House, was built in 1922 by architect Rudolf Schindler. This house is considered the first modern house because its layout defied residential building standards of the time. Schindler was initially denied a permit to start building because his plan was considered too new and radical as a me method of construction. The house was built on a single concrete slab, forming the foundation and also the floor. Walls are concrete tilt-up slabs, separated by three inches and filled with concrete clear glass or frosted glass. Completion of the house set a precedent for California architecture, with its concrete walls, sliding glass panels, and open floor plan. What makes this house so unique is its lack of structure. There is no living room, dining room, and no bedrooms. Instead, the L-shaped property was designed to act as two separate apartments for two different families. The house has two studios per apartment, and they are connected by a, a utility room meant to function as a kitchen, laundry, and storage. Must be a pretty big room. The 2,500 square foot property is in the middle of 20,000 square foot piece of land. In 1980, the house was purchased by Friends of Schindler House for the whopping amount of $1. In 1994, the Friends made an arrangement with the Austrian Museum of Applied Arts, or MAC, to create the MAC Center at Schindler House. The agreement allows Friends to keep full ownership of the property, while MAC takes full financial responsibility. The Schindler House is open to the public for tours, so be sure and book yours today. Thank you for watching WeHopeDiaTV.com. I'm Neil Garcia, and I'll see you in WeHope.